Now, mountain climbing can be an exhilarating but extremely dangerous hobby, and no one is more aware of that than Nigel Vardy from Belper in Derbyshire. It's less than 10 months since he went on a climbing expedition to Mount McKinley, the highest peak in Alaska. When he was stranded in sub-zero temperatures, Nigel's family feared the worst. Thankfully, he survived after being airlifted to safety by helicopter. He'd suffered severe frostbite injuries and was treated at Nottingham City Hospital before returning home. Well, Nigel's decided to write a book about his experiences, and I'm delighted he's with us now. Thank you very much, Nigel, for coming in. First of all, how are you? Well, um, a lot better than I was. Still, the recovery's going on. Um, I'm still bandaged on the feet, they're taking a long time, but other than that, I'm getting there. I'm but your, there. your hands were particularly badly yes. affected by the frostbite, weren't they? Yes, um, as you can see, I've had major amputations on all the fingers, but we do adapt, and I have adapted to, to use my hands reasonably well um, with what I've got left. So, why have you decided to write this book? Is it something that you just have to get out of your system in order to come to terms with what happened to you? There is some of that, to be honest. Yes, you, you need to um, put it down on paper, as it were, and get the story out, and it helps your sort of mental uh, recovery. But also, it's, I think, quite a good story to tell. Um, I'm quite enjoying telling it and getting it all down on paper. Um, and it's just, I think, a great experience. It's not just a climbing story, it's a story of a hospital recovery, trying to get back to a normal life. It's uh, just more than just climbing a hill. Can I take you back to that fateful day mm. last May when that storm came in and you were stranded in those sub-zero temperatures? I mean, what was your lowest point? Did you, you must have fired. Well, strangely enough, it never entered my head and I still can't explain that now. But yes, I mean, it was a, a very, very grim time, the worst in my life. Um, you don't know if you're going to survive. It's very cold. You don't know what to do with yourself. You can't walk, couldn't walk very well at all. My feet were absolutely frozen solid. And it's just a very, very grim few hours on the top of a mountain, uh, hoping that rescue is going to come. And you're determined that you're going to climb again, yes, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. As soon as I can get these bandages off, I'm ready to start. <laughs> Although the mind's been wanting to climb for months, but yes, I'm, I'm determined to get back into climbing.